Hello Interweb people, today we're going to talk about authenticity versus image. So I had a really uh, interesting comment on my uh, previous video about wrestling um, and karate. Uh, if you haven't seen it, link above. Um, and somebody commented that uh, I should uh, use really uh, somebody to proofread my content, uh, my scripts and uh, my articles to improve my uh, presentation quality and image as a business image. And I'm sure it was well, well intended and uh, it's right. Um, I usually have somebody correcting my articles. Uh, my book, my written stuff, but um, yeah, that's what kind of spark up a, a thought in my mind that do I really want to uh, proofread and be perfect? Um, so, uh, as I said, uh, my wife is correcting my English. Uh, English is my second language, so um, there's lots of uh, space for improvements. And uh, with my work, so the books, the articles, uh, and I always um, correct them and creates the better, better uh, flow, uh, grammar, spelling, um, and usually uh, I do a lot of mistakes putting the Polish grammar and it's kind of opposite reverse stuff. Um, but yeah, we, we're doing that and um, they usually are flawless. But uh, we've got two little children, not so much time now to uh, spend time and correcting my articles because it takes quite a long time, especially if it's an extensive one. So um, that's one of the reasons why I dropped uh, writing uh, articles on my blog. So just uh, throwing shorter videos and stuff like that. And simply because with two little children, uh, pandemic and, and everything and my work, you know, I've got more and more projects going on, written ones, and I've got her full-time job as well. And managing that is is um, difficult. Uh, so I'd rather she focus on my books and, and have a, a proper grammar and stuff in, in books. And that usually takes about three to four manuscripts she have to read through, correct. Uh, it's just uh, not enough time to um, write it and correct everything what I do with different stuff. Um, uh, for YouTube uh, videos, I am kind of in between uh, my thoughts, how I want to do it and why I'm doing it actually. You know, I've got my channel for over 10 years, nearly, nearly is it 10 years, 7, 8, 9 or 10 years, I can't really remember. It's not something that I'm planning to have as an income, uh, it's just a project for fun, sharing what I do and um, maybe sell some books and stuff like that, so a bit of advertising as well. But um, watching videos on, online and on YouTube, um, there's plenty of people with uh, perfect grammar, perfect scripts, um, super equipment. Um, and I'm kind of not so interested in their content. You know, it's the content they have to provide because it's their income. So they have to come up every week with the new videos and stuff like that. I'm recording when something comes to my mind. Uh, I don't do scripts because my brain power is limited. And uh, what I noticed, I tried with the scripts, even with a corrected one by Anna. It just doesn't come out naturally. I'm awkward on the camera anyway. Uh, it's kind of difficult for me to, to relax in front of it. And, and it is what it is. Um, and when I'm reading stuff, I have to focus fully to read uh, the, the English language. And if I try to read that out loud, it just comes, I'm jamming, I'm, I'm stopping, I'm kind of repeating myself. I'm losing track of the text. It's just how my brain fo functions. So I decided um, that it'd be better doing free-flowing. It might be not interesting. Uh, for other people, I think those who are looking for uh, authentic me, um, enjoying those videos, well, 1,750 of you decided that it is worth to listen to me, which I much appreciate, thank you for that. Um, 
So, do I care about my professional image? Yes, I do care about my professional image, but not in the realms of uh, YouTube. I think it would be a bit of a mis-selling if I had everything perfect, um, because uh, from my point of view, if I watch somebody on the, on the YouTube and, and they are perfect, I expect them on seminar being perfect as well. Um, so I don't know how would you feel, but if I come across uh, all perfect in my videos and then you meet me on the, on the seminar, that could be uh, disappointing because I am who I am. I talk how I talk uh, with my all flaws, uh, accepting my uh, uh, weaknesses in a language. Um, anyway, I'm not a great speaker. I prefer to show um, physically so people can uh, can see, ask questions, uh, show touchy feely kind of way. Um, so speaking, not my strong point, um, as you can see uh, on my videos. Uh, so I appreciate that people coming here and listening um, to what I say, the way I say, I, and I hope uh, it's kind of mostly understandable. I always can clarify stuff on, on the comments. Um, but that's like my thoughts for about this. So I'd rather be authentic me. Uh, I'm not doing this for a, for a profit. Uh, it would be lovely to have a, a million subscribers and have some income from, a, from a YouTube, but that's not the reason why I'm doing I'm enjoying uh, those clips. I'm enjoying the challenge of improving my presentation because that's affecting my way of speaking as well on the seminars, although it's much easier for me to um, speak to people um, at the seminars, actual living people, instead of um, looking on the camera and focusing on the image next to us, which I'm looking, then I have a bright light in my face, uh, constantly being aware of what's going on behind and what I'm saying, how I'm saying. Um, so, for me, image, not so much important in those clips in the, in the YouTube realms. Uh, it is important that you get less the real less, how I speak, how I talk, how I do, how I think. Um, as well, I'm not modifying my views to please people. I am speaking honestly um, what I think. And I think that's the most important thing. Um, so again, let me know what you think. If you think I should uh, start writing scripts, post less, but focus on, the, on a, a perfect execution. Uh, drop the comment below and, you know, just let me know. Or should I stay as I am, unshaved, messy hair, and not speaking correctly? Um, I leave it up to you. Let me know. I can't promise I'm gonna change uh, because I like. Uh, it took me years to like the person who I am, and I'm happy with it to stay as it is. Uh, An anxiety is a bitch, and um, yeah, being judged is a is a kind of a. Uh, process uh, which takes slowly to get used to it uh, at the moment I'm on the stage when I'm embracing my mistakes and love my haters and stuff like that welcome to Marshall's story we cannot get more authentic than children uh, and today's story comes from a warrior spirit martial arts uh, John McLean uh, he's got this uh, new channel as well, so uh, link in the description if you can give him some love. Um, subscribe to his channel, he's got a quite a interesting views and he's a bit better in uh, presentation than I am. So I'm going to read you out his message. Um, he sent it to it, he's a bit worried that it might be a bit inappropriate. I think it's funny, so I decided I'm going to uh, read it. Um, it's involving a uh, children. So by the way, there here you can see uh, what I meant saying that uh, when I'm reading stuff out, my brain goes to function of reading and not um, focusing all that I'm doing. So you can see how, how it works with uh, authenticity and me doing scripted stuff. So, um, hi mate, here's the story I was going to share. If it's not good for the video, I understand it's just a stupid thing that happens in class ones. It happened to all of us, if we're teaching children, everybody gonna know what you mean. Uh, they're unpredictable and their brains are pure and taking stuff uh, wherever they want. So I think the story is brilliant and, and um, let's, uh, let's listen to it. So at the end of one of the kids' classes, 
one of the instructors I was working with was asking some of the younger kids what skills would work on in class, trying to encourage the kids to say confidence. So she went around asking what we work on and tried to help them by saying co to start the word. Concentration? Not quite. Anyone else? Con? Then one of the kids just blurted out condoms! Obviously he didn't know what it meant but our faces just dropped and we spent the rest of the class holding, holding in our laugh and avoiding eye contact. I think one of the others had to actually leave the class to cry laugh in another room. So, <laughs> you, you know, you never know with, with children what's going to happen. Um, and it's a brilliant story. If you would like me to read out your story in my own unique way, uh, please send it. Uh, I think it's going to be amusement for all everybody. Uh, everybody likes a good story. Um, so that's the second story. John McLean from uh, Warrior Spirit Martial Arts. And if you've got your own story, uh, either share it on the uh, description below, uh, and I'm gonna read it now uh, next on the next clips, or drop me an email um, at info at uh, lesbubka.co.uk. And in one of the episodes, I'm gonna read it out. I've got a few other nice stories already for the next videos from a couple of instructors in UK. Uh, but yeah, if you want to feature, and drop me your message and uh, and I read it out. If you're enjoying this uh, channel, then you know there's a like button. You can share it. Uh, you can click the notification button so the all that not perfect content coming to you to your way. Um, as well, if you if you're enjoying what I'm saying and you would like to support uh, the stuff I do uh, for uh, mental health and karate. Um, there's some merchandise you can have a look and support our uh, Karate for Mental Health program which at the moment uh, is starting in April and we've got uh, already a uh, few people enrolled in it and they're gonna have uh, thanks to you and they're gonna have uh, some free classes and support from us uh, in those times of need. So please feel free to fire up your um, keyboards and write stuff uh, down below and I see you on the next one.